Jupiter came tantalizingly close to becoming our solar system's second sun, but fell short by a cosmic margin that determined whether we'd have one star or live in a binary star system. Like the sun, Jupiter is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium in almost identical proportions, and it actually radiates more heat into space than it receives from the sun due to gravitational compression generating internal temperatures around 24,000 degrees Celsius at its core. However, to ignite nuclear fusion and become a true star, Jupiter would need to be at least 75 to 80 times more massive to create the extreme core pressures and temperatures of 10 million degrees necessary for hydrogen atoms to fuse into helium and release starlight. Jupiter's mass of 318 Earths sounds impressive, but it's still only about 0.1% of the Sun's mass, making it what astronomers call a failed star, or more accurately, a gas giant that never quite made it to stellar status. Some scientists classify Jupiter as almost a brown dwarf, those mysterious objects that exist in the twilight zone between planets and stars, massive enough to fuse deuterium, but not regular hydrogen. If Jupiter had been just 13 times more massive, it would have ignited deuterium fusion and become a brown dwarf, transforming our solar system dramatically with two light sources, altered planetary orbits, and potentially very different conditions for life on Earth.